Well, we can speak now to Gina Miller, the businesswoman who took the British government to court over Article 50. She's now leading a tactical voting campaign called Best for Britain and joins us now from Westminster. Gina, good evening to you. Now, you've been campaigning for candidates who'll stop a hard Brexit. How do you think you've been doing? Well, we think we've done remarkably well. The tactical um, dashboard, have, we've had thousands upon thousands of visits. I have to say the top two searches, constituency-wise, have actually been Maidenhead and Vauxhall, so, which has been rather surprising for us. But uh, we've the first part of our campaign, getting a high turnout for young people and women, we've managed to get hundreds of thousands of people to do that. Uh, obviously, registering to vote is not the same as turning out tomorrow, but we, we are spending an awful lot of energy trying to get um, people to turn out tomorrow and we've got 36 champions that we've identified as people who will stand up in parliament and put their country before their careers and go for this um, minimizing of damage that we want to see in the negotiations and yet you say this but yet the only party that's been campaigning overtly against brexit has been the liberal democrats and by common consensus they've had a pretty shocking campaign their poll ratings have have slipped during the campaign I don't think I, I don't think we can look backwards. This is not a, about undoing Brexit, and I don't actually agree with the second referendum. What I'm talking about is damage limitation, and I think whoever the next government are, and I think it will be a Conservative government, and I hope it is with a working majority, but not a huge landslide, I think that was what will be best for Britain, that uh, we go into this with trying to fight for access to the single market, because I think that's the only way we can guarantee, as, as uh, Lord Maud said, you know, a stability that's required and what's best for business and what's best for our economy. Are you surprised at how little Brexit seems to have been discussed since the manifestos were launched? I mean, everyone said this was a Brexit election. It hasn't really been so, has it? Well, Mrs May herself said this was a Brexit election, and, and I think this is a hugely wasted opportunity. We could have seen more on policy, we could have seen more on direction of travel, and that opportunity has been thrown away, I think, with a terribly managed campaign. I mean, the, the social care debacle was uh, just a mess and has really damaged their campaign. And, of course, then the terrible uh, occurrence um, atrocities, that was obviously outside of everyone's um, control, but that has dented the campaign as well. And what about this OECD warning today on a hard Brexit? I mean, Lord Maud uh, gave some suggestions just now as to how the government can offset that. What would you recommend? I, I'm, I'm always very intrigued by this idea that a no deal is better than a bad deal, because what happens after the no deal? There is absolutely no, no conversation about that. No deal, full stop. But no detail, no, no, how do we then operate in the limbo that we'll be in? Uh, there's absolutely, I, I'm aghast at the lack of detail in that statement. But do you have confidence in uh, Theresa May to deliver a, a good Brexit deal for the UK? I think she has to be held account. This idea that a hard Brexit or no deal, it, it, uh, it, I don't believe that's a mandate she has from the people. We'll see um, on Friday morning because it's very clear in the, in the manifesto. If that's what the vote is for and she does have a landslide, then the rest of us will just have to sort of say, well, she has this mandate now. But I don't believe she'll have that. I think the country wants access to the single market. We've done research at Best for Britain, which found we... we actually surveyed remain and leave, 50% of both in our survey, and 50% of people said they want access to the single market, as opposed to 21% who said no.